Welcome to MacGyver's Workshop, where you never know what we're going to be working on next. If you're not too careful, you just might learn something. Hi there. Welcome back to another episode of MacGyver's Workshop, where you never know what we're going to be working on next, and if you're not too careful, you just might learn something. Today, we're going to have uh, part five of our boating adventure, and this ought to be interesting because we'll be uh, extracting that broken bolt out of the engine block. But before I get to that, I have some errands I have to run. And uh, I gotta get some gas for the mowers. To, uh, Tammy needs to do some mowing. And uh, I gotta fix my string trimmer mower. But I can't go and get gas in the cans, which involves me using the truck without Taking Maddie with me, the MacGyver's Workshop Chop Dog. Yeah. <laughs> you just love going for rides in the truck, don't you, Maddie? They're still. A little warm, they have to let them cool down just a bit, but yeah. Oh, yeah, she loves those chicken nuggets. All right, so we are gonna start off here by uh, we're gonna have to extract a broken bolt from the starter. Uh, apparently, looking on the forums, this is a common thing where. Uh, either one of the starter bolts breaks. Now this is a uh, this model has the side-by-side -side starter bolt configuration. Some have a staggered. Uh, this is a very early model. This is a 68 according to the engine serial number. Of course the boat's a 69 but that's not uncommon. But anyway what we have here pretty much is a like a nightmare scenario for uh, a broken bolt because the bolt so if I can get down in here and light this thing up you can see that the bolt is broken off down inside there so we're gonna have to drill it and then uh, use a thread ex uh, bolt extractor to get it out so but I have a bunch of other things I fit on my honeydew list this morning before I get started on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to soak this down with some good penetrating oil. So I'm just going to fill that hole up with PB Blaster and let it be soaking while I'm doing all the other things on my honeydew list. On my honeydew list I've got to do some maintenance on our string trimmer mower. So uh, I'm going to put a new belt on it and show you how to Show you how you uh, take care of the little strings that go on it and uh, otherwise just keep it in good running order so let's get started the first thing i got to do is i got to change out the belt because i don't want to be out in the middle of the field i got 14 acres here i don't want to be out in the middle of the field and have this belt break on me and then i got to walk all the way back so i've noticed that it's uh it started twisting so I'll show you that here in a minute, but let me show you how you get this cover off. At least on this one, it's held in with these little plastic retainers. And I got my IT scissors, the line scissors that I've always carried with me, so this makes it real easy. You just get in there, pull that little pin out about halfway, and then the whole thing pops out. So we'll set that over there out of the way. And get the other one. And these things are actually quite easy to service. And this comes off. You may have you may have a third one up here. Mine's missing, but now this belt is still kind of okay. It hasn't stretched, but you can see how it's twist it's twisted. And uh, I've got it back on right now, but as soon as I start this thing up and running, 
and run it for a minute, the belt will twist like that. And that's just uh, impending doom, basically. As you'll get out there, and then it'll uh, it'll start slipping, and then the belt will break, and, and you got to walk it all the way back. So I just soon go ahead and put a new belt on it while I got got the opportunity here. Alrighty. So go ahead and change this. We're just going to go ahead and pop this off of this spring-loaded idler here, and then we'll just kind of roll this belt off here like so. Like I said, the belt's really not stretched, but it's kind of twisted and turned upside down, and that's pretty much how, how it would be if I tried to uh, run it. And of course, you can see that right there. You know, this belt will come apart on me while I'm out in the field. So we shall put a new one in. Now, just a little FYI. Since most of these are, like I said, I think they're all made by Dan, they're the same company. But it's usually a half inch by 59 inch belt. But of course, check your own owner's manual to make sure. But uh, it's actually pretty good. You know, the belt's super easy to change here. You just do that, roll it on. It's not like some, some uh, mower belts where you gotta take off guides and shields and things like that. This is pretty much straightforward and there you go. New belts in there. And you put your cover back on here. And then all you do is you pop your little clip thing in there and then press that little pin back in and that's it. So this thing's worth its weight in gold for trimming around if you've got you know property like I have. Now let me show you how we let me show you how we do these strings here. I'll go ahead and put a fresh set of strings on it. Now yours may be different depending on how they have the things on here but this one just has a little loop welded on here and what you do is you take your string and bend it in half like so push it through and then loop it under like so make a little pretzel and then pull it and that's it the centrifugal force keeps it keeps it on there and pulls it tight and we just go around and do the same one here on the other side like I said, these strings got some life left in them, but for the sake of the video here, I'll put new ones on it and show you. And again, we just bend it in half like so, stick it through there, then pull it up through and make a pretzel knot. And that's it. Now, one other thing, too, when you buy these things, uh, you'll notice that they'll, they, the better ones, they'll have a little sponge down here in the bottom. And you want to keep that sponge wet and let keep these somewhere dry or somewhere dark, uh, not in the sun basically, because these will dry up and get brittle. And then you put them on and they'll only last like a minute or two before they break. So, and other than that, that's it. That's how you change the belt. And, change the strings on a string trimmer mower. Alrighty. So now what we're going to do, we got to get down here and take our center punch and punch a little dent in that bolt. Sorry about that. I'm banging into the, banging into the tripod here. Kind of close quarters. divot in there as close to the center as we can. Keep that drill bit from walking all around in there. You see a bit of a problem we're gonna have there is we don't have enough room to get down in there. 
So we're going to have to, because otherwise we're going to drill a crooked hole. So we're going to have to figure out a way to extend our drill bit out. So let's figure out a way to do that. Okay, so we put an extension on the drill bit here. Drill down through that bolt. We should fall through here if we get all the way through the bolt. There we go. So we got all the way through the bolt and I'm in the center real good so we don't have to worry about boogering up our threads but we'll probably still run a tap through it just to make sure. Now, let me clean that up and let you get a look in there. Alright, you see how I got my hole right down through the center of that bolt. Now, we'll put our uh, screw extractor down in there and see how we do. Now you could use, I could have used a left handed drill bit and sometimes while you're drilling through it'll spin them out but I don't have any of those but what I do have is one of these a screw extractor or sometimes referred to as an easy out but easy out is actually a brand name of a particular brand of screw extractor so and what you do is, is it's kind of got a, like a lefty thread on it that goes down in there into that hole and it'll grab that bolt and if we're lucky it won't break and we can maybe back that back that broken bolt out of there if we're lucky If it doesn't want to come, then well, we may have to let it soak some more. Ha ha ha, there we go. I think we got it. We're lucky here. I don't know, we'll see. Pretty give a little bit. That's a good sign, I think. All right, so this easy out here. It feels like it's getting stressed a little too much. It bolts in there a little too tight. So I'm gonna drill that hole out a little bigger and go up to the next size easy out. So, even with the bigger uh, screw extractor, it doesn't feel like it wants to get that bolt out of there. So what we're going to do is, fortunately this one's not a blind hole, it's back inside behind the flywheel, I had to pull the flywheel off. But what we're going to try and do is, is we're going to take a nut and weld to that bit that's sticking up and then maybe we can screw it out screw it through the other way we'll give that a whirl and see how that works Back that, back that screw out the other side. All right, let's give this a whirl here. Oh yeah, that looks so like it's working. A 
lot of bolt in that hole, wasn't it? All right. That's why they call me MacGyver. Okie dokie. So our bolt's all nice and out of there now. And our thread's cleaned up, so when we go to bolt the starter back in, she'll go on nice and easy peasy. One other thing that I'd noticed while I was back here, there was another hairline crack in this block from, uh, I'm guessing, it happened probably about the same time this mess did over here. Somebody didn't winterize the boat properly. And of course they fixed it in the boat, but they wouldn't have been able to see this one because it was in the back inside the bell housing hidden. So uh, the only thing they would have noticed is maybe a little slight dribble in the bilge. It wasn't leaking bad, but I went ahead and uh, cleaned it up. And ground, ground out the crack and uh, plugged it up with some uh, epoxy. And we'll let that go. That was something new we found. But uh, we're going to need to let that cure up real good before we do anything more. So. We'll call it for today. I guess this will be a short video. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time.